Um, here's what I want to talk about for our main conversation, and I'm go. I'm trying to aim somewhere. We'll see if we end up there. Uh, Marvel gave us a list of release dates this week as well. So we talked about the Avengers Infinity War release date being moved up, but that same day, um, Disney claimed basically every other weekend from now to 2025 for some Disney project or the other, it included six Marvel dates. So I'll try to give you a full rundown so no one's confused. The movies that are coming up in the MCU... Um, Avengers Infinity War now is coming out the last weekend in April of this year. Um, after that, we'll get Ant-Man and the Wasp in July. Then we will get Captain Marvel about a year from now in March. Then the first weekend of May in 2019, we'll get Avengers 4. And then in July of 2019, we get Spider-Man Homecoming, the sequel. Uh, those are the things that we know are coming for sure. Uh, then the dates Marvel had already picked out were May of 2020, July of 2020 and November of, uh, excuse me, August of 2020 and November of 2020. That August date was one that was moved up. That was moved to the last weekend of July instead of the first weekend of August, 2020. Uh, so those are three movies that have to fill into the slate, May, uh, July and November of 2020. Then 2021, we've got May 7th, July 31st and November 5th. Um, a second straight year of May, July, November. And then 2022, we've got February, May, and July as the release dates. That maybe is really confusing. Uh, look it up online or play that back slowly and use a pen and paper. So I- I've already started working on uh, a- a- an article for our marvelnewsdesk.com about what I think this is going to be. I can maybe share some of that. Um, when you guys see these dates, I mean, what... What are your thoughts? What do you think um, is is coming our way? Does any of those dates look good for you for a particular movie coming up? I mean, it just says Marvel's going to keep on keeping on. Would these include Spider-Man movies or Sony properties? So I think that's, I mean, that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about um, because I think it's, this is what we don't know. Um, does it include so um, um Sony dates? It, it seems to. When they announced um Spider Man Homecoming, they gave it a Marvel date. Uh, so I think that Sp- Spider Man movies are included in this. Um, but we're not sure. Uh, also, we don't know if this includes Fox. If these are being really penciled in for current MCU stuff, or if the stuff they get in the Fox deal is going to be included or not. I feel like that's kind of up in the air. I don't know. I was looking at it. If you start penciling out, well, we're getting Black Panther 2. We're probably getting Black Panther 3. We're getting Doctor Strange 2 and probably a third. And probably Ant-Man 3. I mean, those dates keep whittling down, you know. How are outside of Black Widow, you know, how many of those dates are going to be new new stuff? You know, I don't know. It kind of exhausted me a little bit just thinking about it. It's like, oh, man, all the way through 2020 or 2022. I don't know. I hope for new stuff, you know. Uh, How many did? So there's six plus the three before, right? But two of the three are Guardians 3 and Black Widow, allegedly, right? Yeah, we think so. I mean, um, like I said, uh, check out. Hopefully it'll go live here another day or two. I did a whole big long article on this. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 almost has to be in that May date. Um, And Black Widow is the next furthest along. So, yeah, we would think that's two of them. But, I mean, you were hitting at what I really wanted to get to. This sounds insane. But three movies a year is not nearly enough. And what I mean by that is this. Let's think about everything that we would want to see by the end of 2022. Or the things that we'd reasonably see by the end of 2022. And by my listing, that includes Guardians 3, Black Widow, Doctor Strange 2, Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2, an X-Men movie, a Fantastic Four movie, probably a third Spider-Man, because they're going to want those things every two years. Uh, If there's going to be an Ant-Man 3, that would be due in that time frame. Um, 
if there's going to be a Ravagers movie, that's going to be due in that time frame. And I would hope one or two new properties of some kind, that there's something exciting or new coming down the line. Even if you, so I just counted those off. That's like 11 or 12 movies. Then you have to ask yourself, what are they going to do with the existent franchises? Are we going to get a Falcon Captain America movie? Is Valkyrie going to take over the Thor Asgard kind of corner? Are we going to do a Riri Williams? And this says nothing about a Miles Morales or a Miss Marvel or uh, another team up. I mean, we still haven't talked about a fifth Avengers movie or an Ultimates movie or a um, Champions, right? I mean, and I realize I'm getting more extreme, but there's a legitimate 15 options there for those movies. And there's nine slots for those 15. And that's moving very slowly with the Fox stuff. I mean, that doesn't even say anything about, you know, I mean, X-Men, are they going to want to wait four years to put out an X-Men movie? Like I started to look at it and it felt like way too much stuff to fit into three movies a year. And it felt like they have to go faster than this, you know? Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. You can see more conversations like this on the Marvel News Desk podcast, which comes out on iTunes and all podcast apps every week on Monday. Also check out our webpage, marvelnewsdesk.com, to see posts there. And check us out on social media as well. Thanks for watching the video, and please subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.